Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Beyond the Nail Magical Fairy Wand. I started off with starting over from American Classics as my base coat. Here is Beyond the Nail Magical Fairy Wand. Beautiful pink hollow. So we're gonna go in and start off with our first coat. It's got a skinny brush, but it was really manageable, especially on my short nails. Um, you could see the hollow in this, but it wouldn't just jump out at you like it is in the bottle. I still love it because it's pink and it was a gift from a friend. So that makes it even more special. But I love the smoothness of this. It went on so nice. Kept in my free edge out of frame. Oh, yeah. Hi, Woody. How you doing? <laughs> He's back again, y'all. So there we go with our first coat. Looks really good for one coat. And now we're gonna go in for a second coat. It's just a beautiful smooth polish. I love it. Ugh. I was in the mood for some pink, I can tell you. Need some pink nails. So there we go. I am going to top this with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down. Make sure I don't have too much top coat on that brush because these little nails don't need that much. <laughs> and capping that free edge off the frame again. <laughs> What are you doing? Some undercover work here. And just some regular old, you know, side work here. <laughs> so there we go. Gorgeous polish. Here's a swatch photo of it all on its own. And then I'm going to use this Lena Totally Negative O2 plate and the Pure Ice silver mercedes it's not a stamping polish but i do love to use it for stamping i'll be using my clear jelly scraper and my bundle monster monocle stamper we're just going to hop right on in i have been drawn to this image today so that's what we're going to put on all of the nails this is a gorgeous plate plop that on Shazam, look at that. Like I said, I'm going to put the same image on all of my nails. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about, but, you know. Being real careful not to scrape too hard. I'm kind of heavy-handed when it comes to this. I'm loving it so far. This was one of the plates that Becky sent me. Um, I don't know which video will go up first, but I have swatched this entire plate. Um, there was requests to see it, so I have done that. I just, I never know how my videos are going to pop up. Because you know, I try to post nail art, something else, nail art unboxing, nail art, you know. Try to keep it mixed up here on my channel. Ha ah, ha Love this. Just another good swipe. Easy does it, girl. Don't scrape too hard. And I'm kind of moving that image around to where it's not exactly the same on every nail. Kind of drew it in a little closer for you guys to see this. Yeah. Just kind of going at it. <laughs> 
So I'm going to clean this up with a piece of tape. And it comes up pretty well with the tape, thankfully. Sorry, I'm out of frame. But now with my new ring light, um, everything's in a different spot on my desk. It's going to take me a little while to get used to where everything needs to be and where I need to keep my hands. There we go. Girl got a clue. Look at that. So there we go. I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some pure acetone and tidy up just a little bit better around that cuticle area and on the sidewalls. That's just so shiny. That silver is just popping. <laughs> you got to be sure to get up underneath too if you're messy like I am. So there we go. I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. And seal it all in and call it to did. I do really, really like it though. I think it turned out really cute. But I would love to hear what you think about this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up. Hopefully you'll be able to see it pretty good. Let me know what you think about it. And I want to thank you for watching, as always. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.